Speaking of love, but on an entirely different level, I wanted to take a moment to close out the show to show some love um, as my last words for the day. Love that I wanted to echo and disseminate about a veteran journalist and a man I've looked up to my entire career. His name is Mr. Bryant Gumbel, who is saying farewell to his show, Real Sports with Bryant Gumbel. Uh, and by the way, that show is running its final episode this Tuesday after 29 seasons on the air. Now, you may look at Brian Gumbel and you may see him on Real Sports and they've won countless Emmys. They've won a Peabody Award and stuff like that. That's the show led by him. Let me tell you a little something about him. He worked on NBC, NBC's Today Show for 15 years. He did CBS This Morning for several years. He used to do NBC Sports. He's covered the Olympics. He's covered the PGA. He's covered the World Series. He's done a host of things. He is simply one of the greatest journalists this nation has ever seen. He was doing this since the 70s. Now, I want you to imagine that we're just a few years removed from the civil rights era and the civil rights movement. I want you to think about the paucity of African Americans on the airwaves. I want you to think about the trials and tribulations we've experienced as a community, the struggles that we've had just to gain a level of recognition, let alone opportunities. And I want you to understand during all those times, this man, Brian Gumbel, was a constant figure, putting on display a level of exceptionalism that was unrivaled, spanning more than 40 years on television in this business. There's a lot of people that I've looked up to throughout the years. Ralph Wiley, Michael Wilbon, who's still doing great things for ESPN. The late, great Stuart Scott and John Saunders. There's so many people that have paved the way for people like myself to be where I am today. Nobody, and I mean nobody, has done it better than Brian Gumbel. Let me not forget the late, great Ed Bradley from 60 Minutes in those categories of greats who happen to be African Americans, who paved the way for people like myself. But for Brian Gumbel to be 75 years of age and walking away now on his own terms after 29 years doing what he's been doing for HBO's Real Sports with Brian Gumbel is a testament to greatness. Anybody could have great moments. Anybody could be great for a moment. But true, true greatness in any chosen field is the kind of greatness that is sustained, that withstands the test of time, that transcends eras. Because no matter what era you lean towards, you simply can't push them aside because they're too great to do so. That is the personification of Bryant Gumbel. He is not dead. He has not passed away. He has overcome numerous obstacles, physical injuries, two bouts with cancer. So many other changes have taken place in his life. And no matter what he was enduring or experiencing, all we've ever seen from him is excellence and a standard that has never, ever been eclipsed by anyone in this industry. I not only respect this man, I revere him. And I wanted to end the show today by honoring him with that reverence, by simply saying thank you for the greatness you put on display for so many years, the greatness you've articulated and attempted to spread to those 
who continue to follow in your footsteps. We'll never measure up, but because of you, we will always strive to do so because you are the standard, sir. I love you and I appreciate you. Congratulations on your wonderful, illustrious career and may the rest of your life be just as fulfilling as you've been to all of us. Peace and love.